So Al, it's Friday night, you're back. We haven't done a Ninja video no. for ages. So, Ninja's heating up to 220. What are we going to have? We are going to have a fillet of Chinese water deer, mm. which was shot by one of our rangers in a very humane way as you can shoot things. So it's all organic, free range, lovely meat. Plus, Norfolk asparagus. Norfolk asparagus. Look plus at that. Fresh Norfolk and picked asparagus. Where did you get that from? Uh, it's a village near Massingham. Right. I can't okay. remember the name of the village, but I spoke to the guy who cooks it, and he said the thinner, thinner ones are tastier. Yeah, and these are nice thick, chunky yeah. ones. No, they're now, thinner ones. Oh, these are the thinner yeah. ones. But yeah. I'm going to give you. I'm going to tell you something handy, right? See, so, you know when you chop off the ends, right here, I the, the, the back ends. No, but when you do, when you chop off the fat, woody ends, right, people, what you're going to do, you just bang them up, freeze them up, stick them in the freezer. You can use them for soup, for stock, or whatever. They're fantastic. So don't waste them. What else we got? Oh, well, I might as well keep going there. Chestnut mushrooms. Chestnut mushrooms. Chestnut mushrooms. They've all been scrubbed and they're ready to go. Excellent. So, so we're going to cook it in ghee or ghee or whatever it's called. Okay. We've got a massive tub of it. I've put some in here. I'm going to whack that in the microwave just to melt it down. It's basically it's clarified butter that's also been sort of like cooked a bit, I believe. Anyway, that's going to melt that down so it becomes liquid. Reason being, I want to drizzle it over the asparagus, okay, and over the mushrooms and over this, rather than just have it at the bottom. Now, normally when I do asparagus, I put it between two plates, drizzled in olive oil, cracked pepper, cracked salt, and it steams it in the microwave. And that's the best I've ever found for doing it. But we're going to do everything in the ninja because you're only watching how to cook in the ninja. You don't care about cooking in a microwave. So if you'd like to come over here and have a look, we're ready to add the food. Allegedly add the food. Okay, this is set up. I've got it to 220 degrees. If you just come a bit closer, we've got the roasting tray in. We could put the grill tray in, but because I'm going to use the fat, Poured liquids that would just like so we won't. So the fillets from the Chinese water beer, very soft meat, very rich as well, very very tasty. Believe me, that one fillet there is easily enough for me. I can't eat too much. It might be that we can only have half each, and Wurzel gets the rest. Okay, so I've trimmed off all the all the sinews, membranes, and so on that I can see. So it's all nice and ready to go. Well, there's a little bit there, you go, just whip that off. Okay. Okay, let's start putting it in. If you'd like to come closer, please, let's get that light on as well. So, start off, I'm going to bring that slightly forward. We'll whack in our asparagus. We'll whack in. Oh, I hear it sizzle, man. What's that? And we're going to whack in the mushrooms. So we're just a little bit tight on space. This is a big meal we're going to have. We're going to sprinkle over, we'll drizzle over again. That smells good, that ghee. That's a lovely, rich, nutty smell. Okay, we're obviously losing all the heat that's built up, but that doesn't matter. So now, a load of salt over, because if you don't season your food, it's not as nice. Not too much, please. That's fine. Al disagrees. So, here goes the pepper. Plenty of ground black pepper. Always makes a steak better. So there we go. So there we go, we're all ready to go. We're going to put it down and see how it comes out. It is a bit crammed in there, but uh, still going to cook nice. So we've had about eight or nine minutes so far to have a look in here and see how we're doing. All right, so that's looking good. The mushrooms are looking nicely cooked. We're crisping up the little sort of like tips of the asparagus, which is nice. The meat is looking nicely um, cooked. I'm going to turn them over and put them on top so that they're out of the juice. There's a lot of juices come out of the mushrooms and the meat and the asparagus. So what I want to do, have we got a turkey baster still? No. No, mine, mine's no good at home. 
So what I've done now is I've drained out a lot of the um, juice from the bottom, so a lot of the water and the, the excess ghee. Uh, I've basted everything first. I've spread the uh, asparagus out flatter on the bottom and put the fillets on top so that they can get a better chance at roasting. And now we're gonna go down, we're gonna get us another five to 10 minutes. I'll check it in five minutes and we'll see it 10. Just can't wait to eat. I know, I've seen, I, mean, I mean you've lost weight since the last Ninja video massively because you've been waiting so long to eat. Yeah. So let's have a look. So it's had about, ooh, so 19, it's had about 18 of those minutes because the first minute or so was lost. So let's have a look. Awesome, that is sweet as. So we've got nice, crispy, well-cooked asparagus. The mushrooms are looking good and the fillet's looking good. So I'm gonna serve up, get on a plate and then we can have a proper look. So that's the end result. Mushrooms look a bit dark, but they're, they're nice and juicy still. So Al, I'm gonna ask you to get me to taste this. Okay, so I'm gonna start this one, so I'm gonna eat it the correct way. So fingers. I don't think that's the correct way, but never mind. Oh, oh, that's awesome. Nice little crunchy outside. Mm. Beautifully cooked. All right, we'll go for the mushroom. Squidgy. Mm. Well, mushrooms in the Ninja just work really well. It just retains all the flavour. It's got that real earthy, woody flavour. Now let's have a look in here. I'm going to cut it straight across like that. Hopefully I haven't over. Oh, look at that. that We've got So it's a little bit pink. We could have left it to rest which would um, get the moisture back in, but we're, we're really starving. And cut that down. And have a taste. Okay, that's lovely. Excuse me. Mm. Mm. It's nice and tender, full of flavour. So, so thumbs up. So you can crack on now. You had a long day at work. I've just been goofing off all day, you yeah. know, hanging around in bed, chatting to me mates on Facebook, and you know that sort of thing, and meeting Mine's around the shops. More and well cooked. Well, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, you've you've cooked a thin a bit. Oh, it's good. What's good? Is that mm. good? You enjoy it. Let's crack on. Mm. Enough of the video. Another ninja meal on the table. <laughs>